the original Tammy. Look at that! Look at Caravan's daddy, yeah, babes. It looks like a free park on the river, Mahalo Coach, you see? Where? Down here. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know if it's free. Where are we going? Straight ahead? Look at this old, it's an old one. Yeah, it's very old town. Where my phone is something more. Oh, this guy should have stayed back. Yeah, because they had Japanese um, prisoners here. Party. Yeah, the prisoners of war. They brought them here to Kara and they broke out. Oh, yeah, there's, a, there's a thing called the, the you know, the, the Great Japanese Kara Breakout or something. There's history. I'm not sure why they brought them here. Something water in my car. Who gives way here? There's a charcoal chicken, maybe we'll go there for a break. Okay, there's an uh, old building over here. Oh, you want KFC? They have KFC here. KFC. But it's closed. That is not until 10 30. Hong Kong Chinese restaurant. It's closed. Here's an old building, Mr. Yeah. yeah, I think gold here as well. Gold as well? Yeah. Gold rush time. Mr. Old Bar, is it open? Uh, no, Closed. no. Why is it all concealed, I wonder? Can't yeah, have a look, eh? Looks beautiful. In 450 metres, turn right onto Fitzroy Street. Wow. Wow. They put paint in the one. Keeping it historic. Keeping it. It's beautiful, but the train don't go no more. Make a sharp right turn. Make a sharp right turn, then turn right. You know where we're going. Yeah. Oh, there's some banks there. There's a block down there. Right in the doorway. Yeah, that's the 1886, more likely. That structure's 1886 design. Yeah. It's the Station Master's house. Really? Yeah. Well, oh, that's what it'd be. Station Master's house. Usually that's how they do it. The boss of the train station, the council, the government gave him, uh, the railways gave him a house as well to live in. There was a few there, a few houses.
Bricky, you know? Don't want to eat, don't want to. Bricky don't want to. Or just had one. Oh, close. Oh, to yeah. oh. Are you used to this? The different is the one I like. Red Smith Limited. Is that old? 1901, mister. Look at that. 1901. Turn left here, get down the street, have a look. Sure. Is it okay? Is it okay? It's okay. It's definitely, it's a country cam. They just shut down on Sunday. Yeah. Come here and make a huge brookie shot. Pick someone's out the front, get your brookie. Nothing. Shut down. They're having a day of my It's a ghost town. It's a carbon parking, 200 meters. Ah, that's what you yeah, see yeah, underneath. Yeah. yeah. See the house. Look at the house. But if country town. Look at this one, she's falling down. The roof's falling down. Yeah. It's a macro props out the front. There's a cafe right yeah. there. Okay, go, go, go straight. Yeah, can I do a breakfast? Yeah, do you think? Crushed over? Yeah. Avocado, mush, avocado. Surely they're not closed on a Sunday morning. Sure. Sure. Look at this one. Like, oh, it's this church. This is the original one. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. And what is this? 
Vickers. What? A Vickers machine gun. It's water cooled. You put water in that tank on the top there. It keeps water? The yeah. Water? Water. <laughs> keeps the barrel from warping. Why time, water? Well, because you're firing non stop. Boom, 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 boom. Once you come quick, it's going. Da, 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 da. And all those flames are coming down the barrel. It starts to it cook the barrel and not the barrel. You, you can damage okay. it. In the older guns, the first invention, like the Gatlin guns, they used to change the barrels. They got so hot you changed the barrels. Mm. At least you didn't have the luxury, so they had some yeah, water cooler. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, shoots 303s. Pretty cool. How do you know that stuff? Because I love guns. I learned about it. The three inch machine gun, Mark I, was the standard machine gun used by the British forces in both world wars. And the war was, the gun was sturdy, heavy, reliable weapon. It recoiled with gas boost from a muzzle booster, weight, blah, blah, blah. Oh, with, without water. <laughs> so it has water, see? With water and without water. Ah, with water and without water, yeah. okay. Length 28. Yeah, pretty cool. It's really cool, son. Sword. That's sword. Wait, but I'm done yet. Oh, my is here. <laughs> Look at that. That's my doctor. My doctor. Japanese countries. Wow. I don't know that that Massive. Mm -hmm. Look at the Japanese didn't build it. Burnt out had to come to a be. Ah, they burned the place too. Yeah. The end the outbreak happening. Yeah, see the Italians. They were like us. They were just living here and then they were like, okay, wars broke out. You're going to jail. And that was it. So people, they lost their mortgage, they lost their house. The whole life ruined. Yeah, interesting. Here it is. Yeah. Where? The camera broke it. Ah, that's the one. Yeah. Good. Australian soldier, Japanese soldier, you know their friends, he's not in the Welcome 50 to the years Power Visitor Centre. In 10 seconds, we will be presenting an overview of one of the most tragic wartime events to occur on Australian soil. The breakout by Japanese prisoners from the Kara POW camp during World War II. Please enter the prisoner of war hut and display area inside this building. I was born here, went to school here, and one day I was born 
dead or alive, but finally he came home after spending months in a military hospital. He'd been beaten and tortured, but he was one of the lucky ones. He was alive. Do you remember me telling you about an escape by Japanese POWs back in 1944? Well, it took ages for the truth to come out because the government censored the news. It's not easy for us Westerners to comprehend. But Japanese military code is for a soldier to choose death rather than accept the shame of capture. Most Japanese prisoners gave false names for fear that news of their capture would reach Japan and shame their family. The trigger for the breakout came at Roll Call on the morning of August 4, 1944. The Japanese prisoners were told that their officers were to remain in Kaua and soldiers below Lance Corporal were to be moved to Hay the following day. They did not want to be separated. Having resigned to die, a fanatical bloodthirsty mood engulfed the Japanese camp. Finally, it was decided to attack the perimeter fence at 2 a.m. the following morning and to die in action with honour. But they had to vote by marking a circle or cross on a piece of toilet paper. 80% drew a circle, which meant death. Table knives, forks, spoons, baseball bats, and firewood were to be used as weapons. The men were to attack at three points and carry blankets to cover the sharp barbs on the fences. At around 2 a.m., Navy pilot Tadeo Minami sounded his bugle, and 1,104 prisoners spilled from their huts, leaving behind burning blankets and clothes set to torch the buildings. Two alarm shots were fired by a guard in the doorway. The main Japanese rush was directed at the unmanned Ricketts machine gun mounted on a trailer outside the criminal fence. The attackers intended using them against the garrison. If they were in the race against two Australian pilots, Ben Hardy and Ralph Jones, wearing great coats over striped flannel pyjamas and unlaced armor boots. Waves of Japanese were clambering over the fence when Private Hardy opened fire. The Vickers left 23 bodies were attested draped on the barbed wire. Six more were killed as they approached the third fence and 15 died trying to cross the last hurdle. It was a suicide charge. 
About 150 yards south, another mob of prisoners were scaling the fence. But the lone guard in F Tower was armed with an Owen gun and a pitiful amount of ammunition. More than 300 prisoners escaped here, and only five were killed. Two flares lit up the night sky to alert the nearby infantry camp. Gunfire was coming from every direction, and ricocheting bullets wounded three members of the garrison. Private Hardy continued to break the ground in front of him with fire as the POW swarmed around the gun trail. They were now too close for the unwieldy vickers. Get going, Ralph, then Hardy screamed at his number two. Ralph Jones attempted to dive over the heads of the frenzied Japanese, and they caught him and clubbed him with baseball bats and stabbed him repeatedly. Hardy was disabling the vickers as the rioters clubbed him to death and left him on the trailer floor. They then turned the gun around towards the garrison, but it wouldn't fire. <laughs> Did you say that? Private Jones staggered 80 yards to the nearest hut. They got us, he gasped, and fell dead. Neither Jones nor Hardy had fired a weapon in combat before. Private Charles Shepherd rushed from the guard room and was stabbed in the heart by a POW. He died instantly. Today, a minute, whose bugle signalled the attack, was among the group that broke through on Broadway. He took a bullet in the chest and fell into the gutter. He smoked a cigarette and then cut his own throat with a sharpened table knife. At dawn on the frosty morning, of August 5, 1944, the counting began. But it would take days of searching the countryside before the full group of tally would be known. A total of 334 prisoners escaped, 107 were wounded, and 231 died. Three Australians were killed during the breakout. And the fourth lieutenant, Harry Doncaster, and instructed the military training camp, was stabbed and clubbed to death by a POW on the evening of August 5 while searching for escapees. Privates Hardy and Jones were each awarded a posthumous George Cross in September 1950 for outstanding gallantry against the fanatical Japanese. Fanatical Japanese. The sadness is that not all Japanese POWs were hardline fanatics. Many of the prisoners, such as Masaru Maliki, Marakuni Takahara, and Akira Kanazawa, the man who led the breakout, have since spoken out. One of them said that Kara was where he learned the essence of human life. The Kara community will never forget the tragic breakout. And there is much about our town that reminds us of the event and also demonstrates the reconciliation that has taken place. The camp area is now a permanent heritage site. We have a cherry tree avenue and an annual cherry blossom festival. There is also the war cemetery where all Japanese civilian and military who died in Australia in World War II are buried. Plus the Japanese garden and cultural center and the Seikei School Exchange Program. On the pavement, outside the Kara Civic Centre, is Australia's World Peace Bell, which is a replica of the one outside the United Nations headquarters in New York. Kara remembers. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have got to tell you about Barry. Well, he got married here in Kara on the 24th of September, 1949. Me. Our only wish now is to raise our two children in a world governed by peace, and reconciliation. That's it. Look at her. Look at her. Yeah. I well, I wonder like why this is the picture is so different than the others. Yeah. Because She's the one walking around in the <laughs> okay. Look at me.
Probably new food. I think so. Wow, oh, look at that, Marco. Look at the view. We need to stop somewhere. Caravans and buses, that's us. Over here? Yeah. Park up front. Arrived. Oh, these are the ruins, see the buildings? Yeah. We still would have had the. Wow. Leash free area. You let your dog off. Michael, here's the buildings. No, this is the where's the buildings? The one? Ah, oh, you have over there? Wow. That's really cool. Mm. Look at this, I'm not sure what's the name of this. It's kind of blue some tree. But beautiful. Not all of them has flowers, but definitely beautiful. Goldfish, giant goldfish. Yeah. I want something to throw in, a bit of bread. My cat's so beautiful. There's a waterfall over here. I can...
ganda. Asin ang ganda. So, gawa po ito ng mga Japanese. Sinaryan na to. Noong kapanahon ng World War II. Di ba? Ang galing. Ang ganda asin. Well, my bones are like this to die. Please do not touch. This one's been trained since 1987. Why? Hmm? That's really cool, 1987. Yeah, and that's why I'm holding it into those positions. That's to hang, hold the branch down, the weight. It's training the plant to grow a certain way. Ah. See how it looks like a bit of a spiral going all the way. Uh, oh, sorry. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. 2,000. Bonsai. Moreton, Moreton Bay Fig, mm. 1977. Yeah. Wow, that's a cool this one. Japanese garden juniper for 2000. Please do not touch. 
ficou todo. Bebe. That's mm. called demon Tagalog Mahako, bebe. Yeah. yeah, they call bebe. Mm. Remember? We... Oh. Eatable. No, they're not eatable. They're wild duck. The big. 